Hey, what's up and welcome. It's Matthew here, the hybrid, the designer and developer, the greatest from South Africa. Let's continue with our Shed CN masterclass. We are done with the page and now I was just going to say we are going to the button, okay? But it looks like there is uh, something um, before the button and this is a breadcrumb. It will be my first time to use this component, okay? Maybe that's why my mind automatically skipped it, okay? and it's new okay cool no problem let's see okay displays the path of the current resource using a hierarchy of links okay as you can see guys okay it looks like it displays the path of a current resource using a hierarchy of links okay okay let's see um this is how you use it okay uh custom separator let's see oh okay now i see now i see now i see um you know it's more like um routing okay as you can see it's more like something like this okay if you want to know in terms of um the folder structure or the hierarchy okay let's say we are having um what can i say we are having um a file a pdf and the name of that PDF is Shared CN Course, okay? The Shared CN Course um, is some sort of a child of many folders. The parent folder, let's say it's courses, and then inside that uh, folder, there is Shared CN Course, and then inside that folder, there is Shared CN, and the file, which is Shared CN Course.pdf, is inside there. So I think um, this comp component can be used to some sort of... Um, indicate that okay let's um just make sure if we are correct let's try to check the code and relate what is going on here to see okay we've got home components and breadcrumbs let's check where is the code for this um let's check the code okay let's check the code okay so as you can see um we've got href here home as you can see so meaning that this is going to be like home something like this without this this is going to be home and then when you go to components okay when you go to components going to be forward slash here components and also the breadcrumbs where is the um, the, the href for breadcrumbs or maybe it doesn't have because um in components we've got a breadcrumb as a component i'm not sure okay it's also my first time to use this but at least now i understand uh, what and why what is it and how can you use it okay okay so it makes sense that it um is displaying the path of the current resource using a hierarchy of links as you can see guys so let's quickly go and implement this so you're just going to copy this from here and then um where is my terminal okay i don't think i have pasted what i want to paste let's see okay npm i'm happy with this and then let's paste this here and install it okay and then let's check um this is what we have to copy so as usual we are going to go to our shared cn component let's create uh, my red crumb dot tsx okay let's use the shortcut rfce react functional component and let's import everything that we have to import as you can see guys okay and then let's just copy and paste um what copy and paste what let's copy and paste this okay Okay, and then let's paste it here okay as you can see guys so now what we want to do we want this component my breadcrumb let's go to the main page and add it here on the main page let's see as a self-closing tag okay then on windows i'm going to press Control and space so that i can import it and save everything let's go back here and check do we have a breadcrumb here i think here is it okay i think here is it as you can see it's um routing to a 
um, what can I say, um, to a path that doesn't exist on our project. That's not much of a problem. But now I want to know where is this coming from. Let's go and check my breadcrumb. Okay, this is home component. And oh, this is my breadcrumb. Oh, now I see. Okay, so because of the width of this, okay, this has been pushed under. Now I understand what's going on. So let's just increase the width of this, which is 200. Let's make it, let's say 350. Okay, so that it can be a little bit bigger, as you can see, guys. So this is uh, the breadcrumbs, okay? What could be... Mm, what could be a practical implementation? I think that's what it is, okay? You will just have some paths here. So if you want to go here, it will go to components. If you want to go here, it will go to another folder, okay? I think that is it, guys. There is nothing much I am thinking of in terms of application, okay? But it just shows the hierarchy that this is under home and this is under components and this is under breadcrumbs for now guys let's just uh keep it simple keep it flowing and keep it going like water let's not complicate things unnecessarily yes i think um um that is all maybe as a bonus okay maybe as a bonus we can create a dynamic um breadcrumb okay i'm just trying to find something useful and meaningful that I can teach you instead of copying and pasting shirts and things, okay? We can create a dynamic breadcrumb here. Let me show you guys how, okay? Okay, so the breadcrumb needs, um, this, is, um, this is not where I want to be. The breadcrumb needs, um, my breadcrumb, the breadcrumbs needs an href okay where um like um the path okay it needs the path and what else it also needs um the title okay there is a title and the path the title and the path so what we can do um we can create a a folder here inside the app let's call this folder constants uh, is 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 constant the right name for this folder mm, let's just call this folder defaults okay okay let's just call this folder defaults and then in inside this default we are going to have um bread from list dot ts okay dot ts and then inside here, we are going to have an object const breadcrumb list. Breadcrumb list equal to. And then what we are going to do, we are going to have an array of objects. Um, is this okay? No, this is not an array of object. This is an array. And inside this array, we are going to have object. The first object is going to be title. What's the title of the breadcrumb? Okay. The title is home. And what's the link? The link of the breadcrumb is forward slash. Okay. And then let's create another um, object. Okay. The title might be about, let's say. Um, and this doesn't really make a perfect sense in terms of um i i don't think this is the best way of explaining it so let's just say we've got folders let's make this course okay courses okay inside the courses we've got another course which is um shared cn okay or ui courses which is uh, user interface courses or front end okay front end courses okay and then inside front end courses we've got chat cn okay i want this to be more meaningful okay then we've got chat cn as a front end course and then inside there we might have the actual 
file let's say which is um shed cn um book okay let's say shed cn book which is that will be it for now this is the actual file okay let's say and then we've got courses here okay the, the path will be courses okay and then front end courses will be inside courses and then front end okay uh, let's say front end and then okay and then the shared cn folder will be inside courses then which will be shared cn shared cn okay and then from there we will have the actual file okay the actual file let's say shared cn dot pdf okay the actual book so i hope you get what's going on here guys basically we are having a file which is like inside these folders okay so we want to create a breadcrumb that will help us to click okay navigate to let's say different places like on courses or courses front end or courses front end shared cn or click the actual pdf so the difference is now we are going to take this from this list okay this is just an added value or a bonus so let's export this so that we can use it as you can see guys we've exported this breadcrumb so we can go to um the breadcrumb this one yes and then what we will do okay what we will do we will check the breadcrumb items where they start and where they end okay start here it end here there is a separator okay and then it starts here it ends here okay so i'm thinking um what we can delete okay this is the breadcrumb this is the breadcrumb list i'm happy with this so i think we can delete from here up to the separator okay let's just save and see what's there as you can see here is the separator this arrow i'm happy with that so what we want to do now we want to let's just open a block of code here we want this okay where are we going to get it we're going to just right click import it from uh, default breadcrumb i'm happy with this and then we want to map on it okay that means look through it and then from there we want to receive um let's say a crumb let's say or let's say item okay let's say item and then let's do structure also index index and then let's um, create this okay like an arrow function and then for now let's just return a p tag okay we just want to see what will be the errors okay obviously let's see what's the problem okay this one um let's see let's see let's see let's see let's see where am i closing this one let me close it here okay obviously everything works well it's telling us that this is missing the key so for now let's just put index as a key okay as you can see guys everything work well we can look through these let's just uh quickly see what happens as you can see guys we've got test 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 this is not what we want actually okay so what we want we want to repeat these three okay the bread comes item and the separator okay so we want to repeat this so undo breadcrumb item and the separator okay why it's giving me okay and then that's what we want to repeat so for now okay um let's say passing jsx expression um must be okay cool it must have a parent element so what we are going to do here we are going to just create a fragment okay this is just a jsx fragment it's just like a container that doesn't do much okay so let's see how these are going to be repeated as you can see guys it's repeating the same thing okay nice okay same thing so what we want to do now we want to add the actual values okay 
In terms of the title, let's put it here. Okay, um, item dot title. Let's go back and check the title, guys. Okay, as you can see, courses, front end course, shared CN, and we've got the actual book. Okay, and then let's swipe. Um, and then what we want to do, what we want to do, we want to change this URL, the href, and then we want to put item dot link. Okay, I'm happy with this. Everything works fine save and go back here so now let's say we want to go to courses courses is just forward slash oh, okay it's forward slash courses my apologies about that so if we had this path we were going to be taken to this path let's say we want front end courses front end courses is found inside courses and then there's front end okay and then shared cn okay shared cn it's a front end course is found under courses and then if we want this file as a pdf we were going to get it as a PDF. I am Matthew Singati, the designer and developer. I hope whatever that I've shown you, it has added value into your own overall understanding of ShedCN and breadcrumbs. If you might want to contact me, I've got a 10 hour coaching course where I teach you exactly what you want to know. We can get into a discovery call for an hour so that I can get you unstuck. I'm more than willing to help you with any questions. By the way, I've got my um buy me a coffee if you might want to support the channel please feel free to support the channel with buy me a coffee also i teach people um ui design with figma how to design awesome mobile um ui and web ui please feel free to come here and support this channel as well by subscribing otherwise for me matthew Singati, don't forget to subscribe on this channel see you on the next one